I'm Natalie Fee, a local presenter and performer and Bristol Happiness Champion. And I've been down here at the Festival of Nature all weekend presenting Biosphere, which was the spoken word poetry event. It's been amazing. We've had 30 poets, well, between 30 and 35 poets per day. So 70, around 70 poets coming through, all sharing their words of inspiration and, and uh, Sort of spoken word and poems about nature and climate change, and it's been really inspirational. I've, I've certainly enjoyed the poetry that I've heard this afternoon as well. It's a real, a real variety, and um, see it's from not just from Bristol but the surrounding area. It's like people have done well to get the word around. It's a terrific, terrific setting, and uh, so I'm impressed how um, what wide sort of interpretation people have had of the nature nature theme. I think it's a really, really good opportunity. Sort of wind blowing, so it's been quite different from the sort of thing you do normally. Um, yeah, it seems like a good event, lots of people here, lots of things going on, and Bristol's just very vibrant, it's very good at that. It's a splendid project and, 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 and uh, gathering, and I do so in, in large measure because stories and songs are the ways in which we understand the world, whether we realize it or not. Uh, scientists tell stories people who believe in religion, particular religions tell stories, artists tell stories. We need to find ways of bringing those stories into conversation to deepen our understanding of the world and of the challenges it faces us all. I would feel I would far rather read the poetry rather than hear a, a verbal um, or sound performance because I, I find the advantage of a written poetry is that you can revisit it and take your time over it and analyse it, return, play it again and so on. So if it's a verbal performance I'm likely to miss and, and not appreciate what it's all about. So if I do re if I do attend poetry, I prefer to read it. I, yes, I love the poetry today. There were so many different voices and so many different things to think about. And it was just wonderful to hear how much people um, feel about the problems in that. This was someone to tell the oil companies that, like Shell and BP and that, get them to clean up their oil spills. Yeah. Really good. It's really good to see so many people here in the sunshine enjoying so many different things. It's, uh, it's been a fantastic variety of poems, all sorts of styles, all sorts of people. And I loved it. It was amazing to bring four very different voices together with four very different styles of presentation and have the same topic at heart but just I guess unravel it in different ways but still all come back to that primary point of that we believe in the hope of humanity being able to implement the solutions to progress forward on this planet. So yeah, it's left with a real sense of hope, which is nice. Nice to feel on a Saturday night. It's, it's really cool. It's, uh, I mean, it's a lovely day. It's really nice to have all of Bristol come out and kind of celebrate all kinds of different uh, kinds of different things with nature. I know there's some really interesting talks going on and uh, the, all of the poetry has been really interesting. It feels very lively, people coming and going, all, all ages. I had two gorgeous little girls with their face pa faces painted like butterflies. There was an amazing guy with one leg reading about being a one-legged poet. So we've had a huge variety. That would be good. Yeah, really good. Yeah. visit that topic and share my opinions and visit Bristol um, which is a lovely place and um, the people have been so friendly so I hope to come it's back again. It's been absolutely lovely. The weather's been brilliant and all the stalls and um, information everything it's just it's just been wonderful. My main thing to be here today was the poetry but the whole thing's been lovely. These days the whole idea of green is just a really trendy number that everybody hangs their coat on including the super markets, the universities, the council. I've cycled for all of my life, but I don't need a cycle lane to cycle in. I just cycle because it gets me where I want to go and because the council has decided to get rid of all the parking spaces. Nowadays, people like to put a green label on everything because they know it sells and other. it's, it's very cool to be green. So if crisps say they're green crisps, you'll buy them. Um, speaking for myself, I'm very, uh, I think the environment's very important. Um, 
I've, and especially the green areas. I think the green areas are very important. And if someone was to do a poem about the environment, I'd, I'd see only pluses in that. Um, you know, I mean, I can't speak for everyone. Um, some people might have different opinions, but my opinion is, why not? Event. It's wonderful to have so many spoken word poets all able to perform and to, to have their voices in this forum. When we're talking about nature, there's so many people writing about nature and um, whose voices need to be heard. Walking around today and seeing the way it has drawn in the people of Bristol, particularly the young people. And obviously there's a high level of engagement with the subject of climate change and the fact that they are using the arts as a vehicle to speak about climate change speaks volumes for the progressive nature of the city and the people who run the city. Because I came up on the train, um, but it seems very lively. It's nice that people are moving by and just drifting in and out rather than moving forward, like many of the readers are. So it's really nice to have that image feel about it. It's quite, it's quite um, friendly and welcoming and people don't feel compelled to stay. They just come and listen. And, uh, it's been quite appreciative.